Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bloops here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another tutorial on how to get Minecraft shaders. Now, this is for version Minecraft 1.7.4, but it may work for lower versions as well as higher versions. So let's go ahead and get started. I should have a link down in the description below to the download. I'm just going to open it up and copy and paste the URL in. And it should bring you to an AdFly or a media fire. And what you're going to want to do is just click download. It should be a quick download. Now, if you're kind of new to Mediafire, it would be surprising, but everything up here, you're just going to want to ignore all the ads and this junk up here and click on the green download. And if it doesn't download, click repair your download. And while this is going, I'm going to exit out of that. Alright, so once the download's done, you're just going to want to drag it to your desktop or a place where you know where it's at and easily accessible. And once you're there, you're going to want to go into your run and type percent app data percent and click OK. And then go into your dot Minecraft and minimize that for now or just set that aside, I'll set it aside. And open up the download. Now, once you're in the download, you're going to want to double click on all files. And here's where you're going to have to be careful. You're going to want to run Forge. Okay, when you run Forge, it should come up in a little thing like this and you're going to click on install client not install server or extract if you know what you're doing with these down here then go ahead but because we're installing it for the client minecraft you want to click on install client and click ok all right successfully installed client profile forge and you're just going to click ok and now that you're here you're going to want to make a go back to your dot minecraft and make a mods folder if there already isn't one here so i already have one here i'll just pretend i don't have it i'll delete it quick and you're going to want to, if you don't know how to make a new folder, you're just going to want to click right click, click new, oh sorry, new, folder, and mods. Make sure everything is lowercase, and there you go. Now you're going to want to open up that folder, drag this aside, and drag in your Optifine and Shaders Mod Core. Now if I didn't mention before, we were also installing Optifine. It can help your game run smoother or just make everything look nicer. It also has a handy zoom, so Optifine's just nice to have. Alright, so after you have these two in, you, you don't have to double click them or anything, just leave them there and you're going to want to click back. And then you're going to want to go to the download again and at shaders pack, you're going to want to well, drag and drop shaders pack into your .minecraft. Make sure you don't drag it in the mods folder or any other folder here, you're going to want it to be like that, how I have it here. And once you're done this, you can just exit out of everything and open up Minecraft. All right, now that that's done, you just want to go down to your profile and make sure Forge is selected. It may ask you to type in your information again, that's normal. So just click on Forge, and then you can go ahead and click play. All right, everybody, now that Minecraft loaded up and you're at the main screen, you can either click on single player, multiplayer, as long as you're in game, and you're gonna to wanna to click on whatever world you wanna play in or whatever your server, and just wait for it to load up. Now, if I'm correct, I already do have a texture pack loaded, or a shader pack, there it is. As you can see, it's a little taste of what's to come for you, and doesn't that look amazing? These are why shader packs are the best, in my opinion. Possibly better than resource packs. Anyways, I'm going to show you how to do this now, and it's actually really simple. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your options, or escape, click options, and shaders. Shaders should now be an option here, right next to language and under video settings. You're going to click on that. And now you should have an option of all these shaders. The one that I'm using right now is Hexagon Hot Shader. It's one of my favorites. And one of my new favorites is also Rudo Plays. I'm going to go ahead and click on that right now. Now everything does reload again because it's like using a resource pack. And you can see why I like this in a second. <laughs> it has lens flares. Everything is better with lens flares. <laughs> Anyways, I just think everything looks nice. I mean, look at the water. Also, with Optifine, this is one of the features that is added on, the handy dandy zoom. And everything looks so nice. Now it also, if I go here in the video settings, it does add more. Uh, this is from Optifine, not the shaders pack. But I can go more into that in another video if you'd like me to. Just leave in the comments if you would. If you would. And uh, let's go through one more shader pack here and end the video. So let's see here. What looks interesting? Let's go with, you know, Kypro Max Shader. Yeah, it looks alright. I guess it's on your opinion. So 
So you guys have to check out the shader packs for yourself and leave your favorite one down in the video description or comments below because only I can edit the description. Anyways, I better end the video before I start rambling. All right, guys, if you like the video, hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe for more to come. Thanks for all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video that I make that's hopefully coming up soon. Thanks. Bye.